first let's start with the stuff that you need to correctly deep fry turkey. Of course you need the turkey. I've got a butterball, nine pound turkey here. You can go with fat as a 20 pound bird if you like. Next you want to choose your dry rub. I've got OBQ's Gator's Breath and Smooth Move that I'm going to do on my second turkey today. You want to have an injectable marinade from King Cooker. You can go with the garlic butter or the spicy Cajun. I'm going to go with the garlic butter today. You're also going to need a thermometer for your deep fryer to know how hot your oil is, also available from King Cooker. And of course, most importantly, you need your deep fryer, which is from King Cooker, propane fired, propane ring, as well as your deep fry pot. All available for sale here at Premier Grilling. Step one is we're gonna prep the turkey. Obviously take the turkey out of the package. You wanna remove all the giblets, all the gravy, and remove all the juices from it as well. All right, next we're gonna see what's in the injectable box here. You've got your Cajun injector. your injectable marinade. All right, first the needle comes in the injector, so you want to take it out and twist it onto the end there. Fill it all the way up. You're going to inject it four times in each spot. So we're going to take the top part of the breast here, slowly push the plunger down to inject the marinade. And you put it all in there? Use the entire thing. Now I'm gonna use this same hole, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in at a different angle to get different part of the breast. Once again, same hole, but I'm gonna go in at a slightly different angle here. And you're gonna feel it plump up. That's just the juice getting into the meat. Exactly what you want. So you don't inject all over the place because you'll start having your seasoning shooting out all over the place. Yeah, you don't want to poke too many holes into the breast. You don't want your juices flying out. And uh, once that hole seals up in the fryer, you, you want to keep all those juices in. Now I'm going to inject the thigh. Same thing, one hole, but you're only going to do two different directions on the thigh. See it plumping up? Yeah. Next step is the dry rub. Be sure and get a good dry rub. I'm gonna go with OBQ's Gator Breath, available for sale here at Premier Grilling. You wanna coat this thing pretty heavy here. This is a big bird. So you wanna get as much dry rub coverage as you can. Don't be afraid to put too much. down in the cavity. What's the importance of putting it in the cavity? Just as much flavor as possible into the bird. Does, uh, by putting it in the cavity, does it, technically, does it kind of season the inside as it heats up and whatnot? Yes, it does. Now we're gonna prepare the turkey for the fryer. This piece right here is a hanger that comes in your deep fryer kit. You're gonna go through the bottom of the turkey, out through its neck, and you're gonna reapply the rub. Now let's prepare the fryer ready to fry. Now I'm gonna use canola oil because of a peanut allergy that I have, but feel free to use peanut oil, canola oil, or vegetable oil. Any frying oil is gonna work. Now when pouring the oil into your fryer, there is a line clearly marked on your canister for a max fill line. It's only about halfway full, but keep in mind when you drop your turkey into the hot oil, it's gonna rise near the top and you don't wanna overflow your oil. Included in your King Cooker fryer is a propane safety valve that hooks up to your propane tank. So you screw it onto your tank, 
you turn your gas on, you turn your regulator counterclockwise on. This is your propane safety valve right here. It has two AAA batteries. You're gonna push the black button until you get a red and a green light. Now you're ready to ignite. You're gonna put your igniter in here, light it, and start your fryer. This has a 15 minute timer. Every 15 minutes, it's gonna cut your gas off. That's a safety precaution. You're just gonna to have to relight it every 15 minutes. Trust me, it's worth it. Now that your fryer's lit, you wanna get your oil to a hot 350 degrees. You're gonna to need to use your King Cooker fryer thermometer in order to know how hot that fryer is. It goes right on the outside of the tank, down into the oil, and then I'll let you know when you're at 350. Now that our, our fryer's up to temperature, it's gonna take about 30 minutes. So when that timer shuts off for the second time, go ahead and leave it off when you're putting the turkey in. And then once you get the turkey down to the fryer, we're gonna relight the fryer to keep it at 350 degrees. But we're ready to drop this turkey into the fryer. Be very careful, do it slowly. That's all folks. Now we're pretty close to being done. It's been about 30 minutes. I'm gonna poke it here in the breath to see what our internal temperature is. We're done. That's right at 30 minutes. Now our bird's been resting for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and cut into the breast and just see how this thing looks on the inside. That looks juicy.